I still remember that few years back, robotic platform automation or RPA was a big thing. Many companies were offering RPA software such as UiPath and there were various others. The whole thing they were doing was that they would use software to automatically fill out the forms or perform manual tasks on your browser or on your screen. Even some companies were calling it artificial intelligence. When I first saw it, I was really very, very impressed. But then now we have the actual or real artificial intelligence. And now in this video, I will show you another open source tool created by this awesome researcher, which is called as Lavig. Lavig primarily enables you to do the same RPA or robotics platform automation to artificial intelligence with the help of a large language model. Now you can click or auto fill in the forms within your web browser or you can do various things where you would require doing a lot of manual steps. So if there is a RPA process which you are doing with expensive software, then now you can replace it with these open source LLMs by using this Lavig project, which is still in its infancy, but already holds a lot of promise. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with it in the Google Colab notebook. I will also uh, paste the link to this GitHub repo in video description so that you can run it on your own too. Okay, now let's go to our Colab. This is my Google Colab, the free one. Let's change the runtime to T4 GPU and thanks for Google, very generous of them to offer us this free Google Colab. Now, the first thing we need to do is to install three of the prerequisites. Now, remember, this is a fully open source AI pipeline to turn natural language into browser actions. So let's get started. First, as you can see here, we are installing some headless web browsers because we are using it in Colab. So we are not, we don't want to install, you know, all the full blown ones. So I'm just installing some of the Chrome dependencies and then unzipping binary files and so on and so forth with Selenium. Let's click for it to install. Will take a bit of a time to get installed. So let's wait for it to finish. And then we are going to install all of the requirements of this project. Let's wait for it to come back. Do not take too long. That's done. Took around three to four minutes. Now let's install other prerequisites of this. So install requirements.txt. Requirements are done. And now because we will be using the local model, so let's install the library accelerate. You can also use Hugging Face Pro API inference where you don't have to install the model, but uh, you would have to pay nine US dollars per month for it. I'm not doing it at the moment. So I will install a local model, which is um, Gemma Zephyr one, which is quite good. For that, we would need to install some of the prerequisites I'm installing accelerate and then I'm installing bits and bytes, which shouldn't take too long. Let's wait. Then I'm going to use one of the quantized version of the model. Let me paste the code here, which is, which is the usual um, Hugging Face library to get it installed. You can see that I am downloading Hugging Face a 7 billion. Gemma v1 which is quite good model and let's wait for it to get installed and this will take a bit of a time because i believe there are four shards of this model so it depends upon your uh, download speed there you go you can see that uh, first of four shard is being downloaded hopefully i'll get good speed which is okay at the moment but let's see so let's wait for it to finish downloading the whole model. All the four shards have been downloaded, took around, I guess, around four to five minutes. And now it is loading those short shards or their checkpoints on my GPU, which is of course a T4 one from Google. Hopefully it will be able to sustain it. 50% is done. Let's wait for it to finish. And then we will be downloading 
our embedding model. All the shards have been downloaded and now let's download our embedding model and in this case I'm using the usual BGE one which shouldn't take too long. That is done. Awesome. Now we will use a specific prompt template that leverages few short learning with chain of thought to ensure the model performs correctly for our use case of selenium code generation because this is what it is going to do so now if you look here what we are doing it we are simply importing the local library and then we are downloading this prompt template through wcat and then using it in the prompt template string now it as i said it is using few short learning with chain of thought Few, uh, so basically few short learning with chain of thought means that it is a prompt a method designed to improve the performance and reasoning abilities of AI model by providing them with a small number of examples or in other words few short learning alongside a sequence of intermediate steps or reasoning processes chain of thought in other words to reach a conclusion or answer and primarily we use this approach to guide the model towards understanding and solving complex problems more effectively so let's download it let me also show you this prompt template file and this is from the github repo now you can see that we are giving the model the goal and then also giving it few of the examples and then here th this is the example for example mock search page and then you see there's a query click on the search bar type here to search type selenium this is one example and then this is another example of completion here and then it is also giving it sequence of steps or chain of thought let's proceed step by step first we need to identify the component first then we click on it paste on the html then the link can be so you see not only the examples have been given but also a chain of thought then there is another one and then another completion chain of thought and then all this stuff and then there are few other examples i believe with chain of thought so this is what few short learning example with chain of thought let's go back to our collab we already have imported our um, prompt template here now let's prepare the action engine so primarily what we will be doing we will be using the famous llama index to generate this engine which is simple python code let me show you let me make it here now if you look here let me scroll up and show you so all we are doing it we are importing the llama index and few of the modules then we are defining this action engine class which is initializing itself then getting the index and then splitting the document with a code splitter once that is done it is just doing some sort of embedding of the document which we have given from there this is the action whether the click or whatever and then it is generating the response and from here we are assembling the uh, query engine its response and everything by using our prompt template and then here we are actually curing the llm this is start time this is the end time and this is where the query engine is being used and this query engine is primarily the function which was defined above as i showed you so this is all there is to it let me run it okay that's done and now let's also define the function where actually the instruction will be executed let me grab that code paste it in another cell and walk you through so here we are defining okay i just need to properly copy and paste this there you go this is better now this is a simple execution instruction function where we are passing it the instructions we can you can like you know click here search here and i will show you the example shortly when that's done now it is just taking the screenshot then walking through it and calling the llm with the query and if there is any exception it is going to erase it so let me quickly run it and that is done and now let's specify our driver so these are the driver from selenium and other stuff which is just going to uh, initialize our browser our selenium and chrome web browser this is simple selenium testing if you're aware of it this is there is nothing specific to ai here 
now that is done we have specified now let's call our drivers and the hugging face stuff so in this example i'm just calling the web driver i am asking it to go to hugging face website and then let me give it few of the instructions here now all i'm saying here is that click on the data set item on the menu between models and spaces so i will also quickly show you what i mean by this let me first close this braces and now press enter now here what i'm saying is that execute this instruction let me show so if you go to hugging face website here you can see that it is the data set it is going to uh, what we are saying here it that click you know click and go to hugging face website and then click on this data set item on the menu between model and spaces so this is the data set menu between models and spaces this is what we are going to ask it to do so let's go back let's click here and see what happens here you go so it has loaded hugging face website and then it is going to click on data sets and all the data sets will appear on our screen this is what rpa used to do if you have one work with rpa now just imagine you can use you know if you have thousands of forms to fill you can simply ask your llm to go and fill them for you how cool is that and if you, there is a business process in your organization where users where the defined path the people follow or even rpa agent follow or rpa bot follows you can simply use llm to do that with some intelligence there there you go so it has clicked on data set and now you have all the data sets in front of you how cool is that and just imagine you can just define any process there in natural language and this code is going to convert them to the browser action how beautiful and cool is that so as i said i will drop the link to this github repo in beauty's description all the code is there go and play with it and let me know your thoughts on it again heads off to this person who has built it awesome stuff and it is still new project evolving so if you want to contribute feel free to go and contribute there if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching